Oh my God, when you try to mention five eyeshadow palettes, it ends up being 20. I can't help myself. I love eyeshadow. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we have a top eyeshadow palettes video, or rather the five eyeshadow palettes that I would recommend to everyone. These picks are primarily neutral, but if you would like to see a more bright eyeshadow palette kind of video, then let me know, because clearly I love a bit of color. FYI, these palettes, no particular order. Let's start with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This product was so hyped up, and I think with great reason. Whenever someone comes to me saying, Karima, I want a fabulous neutral palette that has both mattes and shimmers, I always recommend this one. The mattes in this palette, I think, are particularly beautiful. They're so buttery and blendable. Obviously, you have some beautiful shimmers and also a few jewel tones in case you're feeling a little bit experimental on the day. And of course, it smells exactly like chocolate, which can only be a good thing. The next palette I featured in my 2015 beauty favorites, and it is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. I think, this is all you could want from a matte eyeshadow palette. All of the shades are matte. You have both cooler and warmer tone shades. And if you struggle with pairing shades together, it's sectioned out into three thirds. One, two, three, so that you can navigate a big palette a little bit better. Now, every time I mention that I love this palette, people always say to me, but what about the Vizart Neutral Palette? I love both of these palettes equally. They're both super pigmented and buttery and blendable and the shades are gorgeous. This one is twice the price. And I think that most people would be just as happy with this one, so that's why I tend to mention it. 10 out of 10, would recommend it to everyone. Here is a great palette at a more reasonable price point. This is the Zoeva Coco Blend Palette. You guys, I think Zoeva is killing it lately with their makeup. I haven't tried a single thing that I didn't love. The Coco Blend Palette is just warm, buttery, golden goodness. Like it is the most beautiful palette. And these shades, like look at that. They are stunning. This is a very warm kind of palette, which if that's your thing, then great. They also do uh, some cooler palettes. This is the Zoeva Taupe Palette also stunning. Have used this in a tutorial. I will link all of the tutorials where I've used these palettes in the description box. Go have a look. And more recently, I've been using this one a ton, the Nude Spectrum eyeshadow palette. This one can be a bit overwhelming because there's just so many shades. I am getting off topic. I just couldn't help myself. If you've been on the fence about this one, I say yes. Okay, so now for a more luxury pick. This is the Marc Jacobs Lolita palette. Oh my God. Yeah. First of all, love this packaging, super sleek and travel friendly and gorgeous, obviously. Now, I often find when I'm using an eyeshadow palette, I often think to myself, oh, I want that other shade. And I start digging through my collection for some transition shade or whatever. I never have that issue with this palette. You have a beautiful range of mattes, both light, medium, dark. You have a lot of beautiful shimmers. They foil really beautifully. And you even have a glitter. I just never want for anything when I'm using this palette. I also love that it's not super orangey and warm, nor is it gray. It sits in that nice sweet spot, kind of a neutral sweet spot. So if it's your birthday or you're feeling particularly splurgy, then I highly recommend this one. Lucky last palette. I actually wasn't gonna mention this one, but I was thinking really long and hard about eyeshadow palettes because that's what I do in my spare time. And I was thinking to myself, what are the eyeshadow palettes that I've recommended to my friends who are perhaps not super makeup addicted enthusiasts? And funnily enough, The Naked One by Urban Decay came to my mind. And all of my friends that have purchased this love it to bits. Like I'm talking pan, lots of like pan showing. And I kind of thought to myself, what is so special about this palette? And I think, I mean, I have a theory. My theory is that it's just so easy to navigate. You can put pretty much any of these shades all over the lid and into the crease, and it looks great. My only critique with Urban Decay Naked palettes, I find that they just don't have enough mattes, but you know, I'm a matte addict, so maybe I'm just being fussy. I feel like this was the first palette that really went off. 
if you guys remember that. And it's still one that I would recommend to everyone who loves these sort of golden bronzy shades. An oldie, but a goodie. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see another video in this style. Maybe top contours or five primers, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. If you are interested in any of these palettes, I'll leave all the stockists and the links in the description box and make your life a little bit easier. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye bye. I think that this is hyped about, but I'm actually not 100% sure. Would you say that there was? Yeah. A okay, good. No, I think there was. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Now, I think that she said in her videos that she uses this as a...